Black weather with Chief Meteorologist John Zay. It's been a warm summer day today. We've seen temperatures in the upper 80s, almost 90 degrees depending on where you live. But we're at 86, and it is a very comfortable heat. Alexis came in from St. Louis, and she's like, your guys' heat's different. When it's 90 here, it's actually nice most of the time. When it's 90 in St. Louis, it's probably horrific, right? So it just depends, and that that's... Well, it's also a problem why it hasn't rained here, but yes, we don't, our heat's a little bit different in the north. The humidity, not nearly as bad, 58 degrees. We pretty much haven't used the term humid, maybe but all but one or two times all summer. I keep saying it's going to change. It's going to change. I just don't see it. 88 in Janesville, 86, and then as you get closer to the actual cold front, it's warmer. 90s, 90 in Baraboo, 91 in Montello. So I'm looking for moisture because we want storms. See the 66? That's where my eye goes to. This has a good chance for storms. Anything in the upper 50s? No. So what happens is the storms are going. <clears throat> they need the moisture. What do you think is going to happen when the storms go into a lower moisture environment? Well, they're going to weaken. So then you're playing this game of well, are we going to get leftovers or whatever? Are they going right into the garbage? Is it a week old leftovers? What are we talking about here? Are they fresh leftovers? You see what I'm saying? And these are probably going to be... Uh, week old leftovers, like maybe I'll take a bite kind of deal. That was a long bit and I went hard on it. All right. So we are going to be seeing the thunderstorms. When I talk about that main course, <laughs> I'm still going on. They're going to see the, the isolated supercells here. I can see them right now starting to go. So you got Minneapolis, Eau Claire. They'll turn into a line in that high moisture environment. Then we will see the weakening trend as we go into tomorrow morning. So you've got Lacrosse, Elroy, you've got this area in that slight risk. If you're in the yellow, you've got a solid chance for storms tonight. Green, maybe a storm, nothing very unlikely, and that would be Janesville. So I've got this in the, uh, I should just have a leftover storm chance up here, but 60% chance in Camp Douglas, Lacrosse, Montello, the storms weaken as they come through. And then by the time you get to Janesville, there's only a 20% chance. Janesville, your odds for rain, very low. Probably not going to happen tonight. And you'll see this here. you got the, all these storms off to the north. We'll see if this can form a line. Now, I have seen a line overperform, and I've been wrong on a forecast. That'd be great. I just don't know. Right now, with what I'm seeing, it looks like the line will be there, and then it will break, and this model agrees. We won't see that much as the front comes through at 4.30 in the morning. Tuesday's actually a mainly dry day. And then Tuesday night, we'll see more rain. So it's kind of nice. We're having the rain chances, at least after the sun goes down, before the sun comes up. So this is the model's interpretation of how much will rain tonight. Janesville, Madison, not much. Baraboo, Camp Douglas, there's a chance. Now, this is not how it works out. Typically, it's all or nothing. But it gives you the idea of who's got the best chance for rain. Now, Wednesday, we all have a chance for rain, actual rain on Wednesday. The European model, my all-time favorite model, is actually giving us over one inch. Other models are going very low, but I would like to see some actual rain on Wednesday. That's your best chance, Tuesday night and Wednesday morning for that rain. Thursday and Friday, only hit or miss storms. There's none of this likely activity. It just hasn't been there. If you hate the heat, this is going to be great. It's going to be cooler than average when we see temperatures hanging out in the 70s and 80s for the next couple of weeks here. Remember, that's the long range, so we don't really see that until probably Monday Next week, you start seeing temperatures get to average or starting to get below average. But a couple chance for rain. Wednesday's the day. Uh, if things really get ramped up tonight, of course, we will stay here tonight and keep you posted. All right. Well, mm -hmm. enough of the weather. You guys had the ice cream in the last block, and I just oh. have to, or last show. Yeah, it was so, so good. jealous so of you guys. Was it good? Oh, it was delicious. It was. Mm -mm. I probably ate yours. There was one left, but <laughs> I ate it. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, there's right. four. There's only three of us. Yeah. So, right, yeah. Okay. Don't you. leave any for me or anything. I'm Whatever. sorry. Uh, next yeah. time. We'll do I'm it sorry. next time. <laughs> All right. Thank you.